Hi, thanks for stopping by my channel where I'm documenting the progress of breeding my guppies. I'm currently working towards fixing a guppy line that breeds true for a solid white color. This video will be an update on the one month old fry from cross number eight. This will be a relatively quick update because these fry are still young and are not showing their color yet. Most of the video will just be footage I gathered of the fry munching on baby brine shrimp with some background music. If you want to go ahead and skip to that section of the video, follow the timestamp that is shown at the bottom right corner. For those that are new, we are in the middle of a series of back crosses with a single male we named Gandalf. Gandalf is our only guppy that had any white color and we intentionally crossed him to four different females. Here is a chart that shows our current crosses so far. Crosses 2 and 8 are the most relevant for this video. I labeled the mother to cross 8 C2A. She is heterozygous gray-based, and the other genes she likely has and that we know of are magenta, European blau, and Storzbach. We can assume that she is likely heterozygous for all these genes, just like the C1B females for cross 7. This means that predicting the colors we can expect from the offspring can be approached in the exact same way we did it for cross 7. So I'll just include that video in the card in the corner and not go over that here. There is a small chance that our C2A females are not heterozygous for Storzbach, but rather homozygous. Now I say this because some of her brothers did appear like they were expressing this gene. I don't know how to tell for sure with our female though. If it turns out that she is indeed homozygous for Storzbach, then all of her offspring will express this gene because Gandalf is also homozygous. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. Cross 8 Fry were born on March 21st. I haven't counted them all, but female C2A produced a decent brood size. At this point, the Fry are a little over a month old now. The only characteristic we could readily make out is their base body color, and as expected, there is a pretty even split between gray and blonde based guppies in this brood. Well, that's all the genetics and predictions I have for you in this video. The rest of the video will be some footage of the brood getting fat on some baby brine shrimp, followed by very quick update clips on the rest of my crosses. So, if this is something that interests you, please consider sticking around. I'll be uploading regular updates on the progress towards reaching my first goal, 
and cross nine will be the focus of the next video. Cross nine females haven't dropped any fry, but rather unfertilized eggs. I put Gandalf back in with them. Both the males and females in cross five have colored up significantly. I will begin separating the all-white guppies from the rest of the brood to start the process of selecting individuals for future crosses. Cross 7 is slowly growing, but we still only have a small number of males showing color, and none of them have the all-white phenotype yet. Cross 6 is also slowly growing, and the males are maturing with some more vibrant colors every day. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.